in the name of allah the most gracious most merciful hello everyone this is a dr tarik masood thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition okay today uh, we are going to discuss lecture number 4 six sigma lean management model as earlier we have discussed define opportunities measure a performance analyze opportunities improve performance and control performance mechanism okay before my lecture i used to read a chronic verse rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yaqfu qawli rabbi zidni ilma okay now i'm going to run a complete a trail on my lecture number 4 on uh, introduction to dmac define measure analyze improve and control mechanism okay six six my lean management define phase lecture number 4 now on lecture number 4 as we mentioned earlier in my lecture number 1 and 2 we have discussed uh, six sigma methods six sigma principles lean and demag difference define measure analyze improve and control mechanisms and we are so discussed a lean history lecture number 3 we have discussed uh, history of six sigma six sigma strategy what is the difference between conventional and uh, six sigma strategy six sigma criticals problem solving strategy voice of customers now we are going to run a complete trail on lecture number 4 so lecture number 4 before going to start we will give a highlights what are the key takeaway points from lecture number 4 okay key takeaway points lecture number 4 introduction to dmac define measure analyze improve and control mechanism today we are going to discuss define opportunities then a measure performance and how to analyze the opportunities so that as a three segment we will discuss today okay okay first we will give a highlights on uh, dmac and a process improvement a road map what is basically define measure analyze improve control mechanism and process improvement map if you will start from left to right a uh, first is define opportunities so what is important basically in the first phase then second a major performance and how are we doing number 3 analyze opportunities what is wrong we are doing and number 4 improve performance and what needs to be done and number 5th and last control performance or sustainability how do we guarantee a performance that is sustain or it will deliver the required results that is how this road map demonstrate define measure analyze improve control mechanism or integrate to each other to, in order to deliver the required results okay now today now we are going to discuss here define opportunities so i will focus on the first is define opportunity here first we will demonstrate what is the objective basically to identify and or validate the improvement opportunities develop the business processes 
define a critical customer requirement that is also known CCR and prepare themselves to be an effective project team. That is the first as objective. Second here is a what main activity is supposed to do in define phase. First thing, validate, identify a business opportunities. Number two, validate, develop a team charter. Identify map process and processes. Identify quick win and refine process. Translate voice of customer, VOC, into CCR, customer critical requirement. And last year, develop a team garden and ground rules. Okay. Then, potential tools and technique, what we can develop here. As you can first, the team charter, business case, opportunity statement, goal statement, project scope, project plan, and team selection process. Then action plan, what are the tasks, activities, responsibilities, start date and due date and action, etc. Then project focus area, you can also mention what is the CCR, the customer requirement, where we are and how much it would cost. And then we will also demonstrate the workflow or implementation improvement process. And then we can also demonstrate where the gap as far as the Six Sigma is concerned as demonstrated here into the different segments. Okay, now in the last slide, what would be the key deliverables here? First, a team charters, set up an action plan, process maps, quick win, opportunities, critical customers requirement, prepare a team. So that is a key deliverable as per the defined opportunity or concern. Okay, on the next slide, we are going to discuss measure of performance. Okay, performance measurement. In my earlier slide, we have already discussed uh, a defined opportunity. Now we are going to discuss measure of performance. In measure performance here, First, objective, what is the objective to measure the performance? And second, what are the main activity we're supposed to do in measuring a performance? Then potential tools and techniques. And number four here, key deliverables. What is the first objective? To identify critical measures that are necessary to evaluate the success, meeting a critical customer requirement, and begin developing a methodology to effectively collect data to measure process performance. That is the first. Second, to understand the elements of the Six Sigma calculation and establish baseline sigma for the process the team is analyzing. Okay. Now, what are the main activity in order to measure the performance? First, identify input process and output indicators. Develop operational define and measurement plan. And number three, plot and analyze data. Number four, determine if special cause exists. Determine a sigma performance. And last year, collect other baseline performance data as needed. Okay. After that, you or we may use potential tools and techniques to determine the data. First, we have demonstrated the workflow. Input indicators, process indicators, process indicators, output and indicator how to make the decision. Okay, then checklist, it demonstrates each activities, each of each of one who has been team members, what they have to deliver. Then demonstrate the outcomes, mating that uh, now if you can see here, there is a LCA and there is a UCL here, so it means your control parameters within the control limits. And if they violate the boundary, it means there is a deviation we need to address. That is a statement of the problem or problem identification. Okay, so key deliverable input process and output indicators, process definitions, data collections, formulates and plan, baseline performance, and productive team atmosphere. So that is a key deliverable in the measurement, performance measurement phase. 
Okay. Now, on my next slide, we are going to discuss, analyze opportunities. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss, analyze opportunities. Okay. Earlier slide, we have discussed uh, define opportunity first. Then we have discussed measure performance. Now, we are going to discuss, analyze opportunities. In analyze opportunity, first we will discuss objectives, then we will demonstrate what is the main activities and then potential tools and techniques and last a key, key deliverables. First we will demonstrate what is the objective basically. To stratify and analyze the opportunity to identify a specific problem and define an easy understood a problem statement. That is first. Second. It mentioned to identify and validate the root causes that assure the elimination of real root causes and thus the problem to team is focused on. Number three, to determine a true source of variations and potential failure modes that lead to customer dissatisfactions. That are the three key elements as far the objectives is concerned. Now, the, what are the main activity to analyze the opportunities for improvement? First, stratify process. Second, stratify data and identify a specific problem. Then, develop a problem statement. Identify root causes. Design a root causes verification and analysis. Validate our root causes comparative analysis, source of variation studies, FEMA, failure modes and effect analysis, regression analysis, process control, process capability, design experiments. Okay, that are the main key activities we must do in order to determine opportunities, viabilities to deliver a maximum improvement plan. Okay, what potential tools and technique we can utilize here? Okay, if you see the graph here, it demonstrates here in the first leg here, there is slight variations and rest of the other data is below what they have proposed to be in the lower level. If you can see on the next here, so for a quantification of root causes, okay, what we need to understand here, if you see here, this is a my middle line, and the upper is a UCL upper control limit and is a lower control limit that is demonstrated. Upper is a 50%, lower is 25% here, and this is demonstrated 25%. Based on that, we can set up a develop a problem statement. What is the problem we're supposed to address? Okay, then what we have to design a process, potential failure modes, potential effects of failure, severity, then current control mechanism occurrences, then what are the discrepancy, decisions making, risk assessment, etc. So that is whole of process. First is a process, second are the actions, and then here you, we can deliver the results as demonstrated over here okay what are the key objectives first uh, data analysis validated our root causes source of variation FEMA as we have mentioned failure modes effects analysis then a problem statement and potential solutions so that is the stage analyze opportunities okay now this was my last slide. On my next lecture, we will discuss improvement, performance improvement and control performance on my next two lectures. Okay, today we have discussed only three topics. First, uh, define the opportunities. Second, we have discussed uh, how to measure the performance. And number three, we have discussed how to analyze the opportunity in order to improve and control the business performance. 
Okay, thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, uh, my next topic as we have already started. So my next discussions will be on improvement and control mechanisms. Thank you very much again for your precious time to make this channel a grand success. Thank you very much for your precious time. Please stay at home, stay safe, stay inspired and blessed. Thank you very much again.